फ्रेंड्स आम एंजल रवींद्र भालेराव आम स्टडिंग इन पोदा इंटरनेशनल स्कूल इन क्लास एट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्टैंड वाइज एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पोएम यूनिकॉर्न रिटन बाय शेल सिल्वेस्टन बट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इन डिटेल डोट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो लेट स्टार्ट अबाउट द ऑथर Sheldon Allen Silverstein was an American writer, poet, cartoonist, songwriter and playwright. He is also known for his cartoons, songs and children's books. He styled himself as Uncle Shelby in some works. His books have been translated into more than 30 languages and have sold more than 20 million copies. Stanza 1 A long time ago when the earth was green and there was more kinds of animals than you have ever seen and they ran around free while the world was being born and the loveliest of all was the unicorn explanation the poet tells the tale of the lovely unicorn that existed long time ago when the earth was green he says that there were many kinds of animals that you could have ever imagined they were free and running around when the world was being born he says that the unicorn was the loveliest of all animals stanza 2 there was green alligators and long necked geese there was humpy bumpy camels and some chimpanzees there was cats and rats and elephants but sure as you are born The loveliest of all was the unicorn. Explanation: The poet says that there were green alligators and geese with long necks everywhere. There were humpy camels and chimpanzees too. There were cats, rats and elephants everywhere, but the unicorn was the loveliest of all animals. Stanza 3 But the Lord see some sin in and caused him pain. He says, "Stand back, I'm gonna make it rain." He says, "Hey brother Noah, I'll tell you what you do. Go and build me a floating zoo." Explanation: But the Lord was in a lot of pain to see his people sinning. God decided to make it rain for very long times that is 40 days and nights and destroy the earth. God told Noah to bring an ark or a floating zoo in which a pair of each kind of animals will be housed. Stanza 4 And you take two alligators and a couple of geese, two humpy bumpy camels and two chimpanzees. Take two cats and rats and elephants but sure as you are born noah don't forget my unicorn explanation the lord told noah to take a couple of geese camels chimpanzees cats rats and elephants in the ark but not to forget his unicorn stanza 5 now noah was there he answered the call in and he finished up the ark just as the rain was falling he marched in the animals two by two and he called out as they went through explanation noah built the ark as the lord commanded and he completed the task and it started to rain heavily noah marched the animals into the ark two by two and he called out as they went into the ark stanza 6 hey lord i got your two alligators and your couple of geese your humpy bumpy camels and your chimpanzees got your cats and rats and elephants but lord i'm so forlorn cause i just don't see no unicorns explanation noah tells the god that he managed to get two green alligators geese humpy bumpy camels chimpanzees cats rats and elephants on the board but noah tells the lord that he couldn't see the unicorn 
Stanza 7 Noah looked out through the driving rain, but the unicorns were hiding, playing silly games. They were kicking and splashing in the mystery of morn. Oh, them silly unicorns! Explanation When the Lord commanded Noah to build his ark and it was the time to set sail, the unicorns were off frolicking in the water, enjoying themselves and ignoring Noah's call. Stanza 8 The goat started goating and the snake started snaking. The elephant started elephanting and the boat started shaking. The mouse started squeaking and the lion started roaring and everyone's aboard but the unicorn. Explanation The poet says that goats, snakes and elephants boarded the ark. Even the mouse and the lion boarded ark except the unicorn. Stanza 9 There as green alligators and long-necked geese, some humpty-backed camels and some chimpanzees, Noah cried, close the door because the rain is falling and we just can't wait for no unicorns. Explanation There were green alligators, long-necked geese, some humpy bumpy camels and some chimpanzees on board. Noah said loudly that they needed to close the doors as it was raining heavily and they could no longer wait for the unicorns to come on board. Stanza 10 The ark started moving and drifting with the tide. The unicorns looked up from the rocks and they cried and the waters came down and sort of floated them away. That's why you never see a unicorn to this very day. Explanation The ark started moving and drifting along with the tide. The unicorn saw the ark moving from the rocks and started crying but the waters came down and they floated away. As we know, the unicorns never made it on the board, so we don't see them around anymore. Stanza 11 You'll see green alligators, long-necked geese, some humpty-backed camels and some chimpanzees, some cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, you're never gonna see no unicorns. Explanation the poet says that you will see green alligators and geese with long neck everywhere. Some humpy camels and some chimpanzees, some cats, rats and elephants. But the unicorns were now here to be seen. They could not get on board the ark. Okay friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends. And if you have any suggestions for me, please write in comment box. Bye, have a good day. Thanks for watching my video.